So yeah, I just, just found out I'm being put on the first aid at work course. Um, but it's on it's gonna be on a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, and I'll see, I might not be able to go to that one, I might have to go on the next one because it's a bit short notice really. Um, but I do I do need it for my job, so, so I was thinking down nice and relaxed. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So so once I know once I've had the dates absolutely confirmed and um, also i if if I'm going on it then I'll make sure we know which date we're not doing. So nice and relaxed, breathing in and out. It's like the twenty something of August, but I can't quite because the sports hall is also changing all its days as well. With, with, um, yeah. So we're just breathing in and out, and we'll do a bit of rolling. So you put your hips to one side, you put your hips to the back, put your hips to the side, and then your hips go to the front. So focus on the hips. Twenty. I think we're all twenty.
and to the middle check the posture so the head floats the weight sinks And what you're going to do is you go along towards the right, up, towards the left, down. Very gently, just kind of just transfer the weight from one foot to the other, but also keep up with a tiny turn. We're still doing a tiny turn. That's it. Yeah. So you want to relax. 
relax the shoulders, relax the muscles, lengthening through the spine. sensation of contact through the feet and how it changes. shoulder width gap between the heels. We're going to turn one foot out to 30 to 45 degrees. That will change depending on how your feet work. And you're keeping the gap between the heels, place your other foot forward. And then turn the hips in and you might need to adjust the back foot so that your hips and shoulders are square on to the opposite wall. Just going to very gently sink into the back foot, very gently sink into the front foot. So, this beautiful one for balance. Let's do this. We're looking forward to this behind and above. So, it's quite a strong exercise. And you want to make sure you're on a rectangle, not on a line. You're on a rectangle. So your heels are on the back and front corner of the rectangle at a shoulder width gap apart. Okay, change sides. So you go like this. So make sure you've got the feet shoulder width. Take your time to place your foot on the right spot. And then we're going forward and through the back foot, through the front foot, through the back foot. If you feel wobbly that way, it's because your legs are not shoulder width. You want to get your legs shoulder width. So shoulder width gap between the heels. It's about back width between the heels. If you bring your foot back, you've got that. Yeah. Breathe in there. And then turn. Turn. So we're doing a tiny turn in the front foot, a tiny turn in the back foot. Feel the weight there. I'll show you that from the like this back foot. If they, if they want to run around for the right this time, I'll go. Yeah, 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 they're very welcome to. No, it's, all, it's all good. I mean, in Ely at the cathedral, they have a they have a special service and they, they invite all the animals to come, so it is kind of like a similar thing. So, all pets are welcome. Yeah. So we're just tuning into our feet. Very good. 
Okay, that was so good, we're going to try that on the other side. So getting that, that you've got enough space to move from. Enough space to move from. So you get the shoulder width. So shoulder width can be here, or it can be here. It depends on how your legs personally work and how you've got to put together. Um, and the feet can be directly parallel or they can be out slightly. Again, that depends how you how you got put together. And then have we done that side of oh. that. So do the other side that you've not done yet, if you can remember what that is. If you can't remember what that is, just do something. Or just assume you've done both sides. Yeah. Don't worry if you forget, because then you'll get one side that feels really strong on one leg and you'll think, oh, hang on a minute. So, um, yeah, those of you that haven't been to Reach before, welcome to Reach. This is Reach. It's not, not much happens in it really, does it? But the pub opens at five on a Wednesday, so you... If you want to hang around for a few hours, you can go. <laughs> yeah. There was a, uh, on the website, there was a website here at the front. Yeah. Yeah. And the show. It says, if you need it, put the person who witnessed me picking up with an iron bar. Did you see it before I got it? No. Oh. Well, and then name the person who picked you up. And someone else said, you shouldn't be naming. So, yeah. so something does happen. Something does happen. Yeah. Well, we missed, we missed that. That's not good. With the chap that wanted to marry his daughter, and they had a fisty cut on the green. There you go. And that was 1850 something. So the last time anything exciting happened in Ridge, it was 1850 something. Okay, that's worth it. Come on, that one doesn't have our size in there. Oh, Chazzy. Hello. Come on, say hello. Come on. Come on. Say hello. 
sorry, but just keep doing your shoulder. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, you're very nice. Yeah, come and join me for the come and come and photo bomb one. Yes. Oh, you're gorgeous. Yes. And we've got another one. Oh, we've got this is Chazzy and Taz. <coughs> I, I had to shower earlier, thank you very much. And then we go, we go, got the dogs. This is great. So this is just like hello. This is just like in Ely at the cathedral now. So yeah, as you can see, shoulder width gap is about that size. And then we've got this is great. This will get me loads of views when I when I put it up on the YouTube channel. Okay, other shoulder. Well, what wonderful they're very nice personalities, both of them. Very, very nice calm temperament. Have they had the T R E A T yet? Yeah. No, okay. Well, they definitely deserve one. Six, seven, and uh, very nice to meet you both. And then we go in the other direction. One, two, three. Because there was another one that was, um, I've forgotten his name. Chester, that was it, Chester. He came to my, he came to a couple of my YouTube classes. Six, seven, eight. Oh, that's good. Right, let's do some more of the shoulders. So we make a fist and we shrug the shoulders up and breathe in. Then we breathe out and release. Um, oh, that's fabulous. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. very colourful bird. So each wing covers half of the planet Earth. I'm surprised nobody's noticed. So, so you've got this real, so when you're doing this, this movement, you've got to have this sense of largeness and sort of winginess and very colourful and beautiful. We see it every time we have an eclipse because he looks at the Yeah, sun. that's the that's the pen, yeah. Looking at the sun. <laughs> Apparently it looks a bit like a pigeon, which is a bit disappointing really. But it's a very colourful, multicoloured pigeon. I mean that's pretty cool, isn't it? Try it. And one more time. <laughs> Now my favourite one is um, the Garuda, which is like a big eagle. Big eagle. Semi-circle, you go down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Down and up. Okay, have a bit of a wiggle. So it's like you're kind of just doing little stretches and just moving your body. So that it's it's settling in the right alignment. Uh, so that was something that I picked up from uh, both from Evoca Scuba and Eli, who's currently in the process of moving to Wales. So it's very very good. Um, so he's I, he's 
not teaching today, but um, just floating. So, and again, what you can do is you can you can rub your hands together, and you can place one hand on your heart centre and the other hand on top. And just gently breathing in and out. And you think warmth. You're breathing in and out warmth and kindness into the heart centre. So it's the palm is up and the fingers are pointing forward. And turn. Well, the, the fingers are pointing in the direction they're going. So they're, they're pointing to the side. Down. Palm out. Palm up. Palm down. Palm out. That's about, that's about right. Yeah. So this is the thing I went all the way that London and, and Reading. Um, I spent four days with Grandmaster Chen Shui Wei. Very, very impressive. Rosemary on Zoom, she went as well. It was amazing, wasn't it? Really quite. Quite inspired, very calm all the time. And this real atmosphere of peacefulness around me. It was just great to hang out with really. Really good time. 
very, 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 very good at Tai Chi. Fantastic, okay. Do, um, we'll do one and two, silk reading one and two, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of white tape off the fruit, um, standing, and then white tape off the fruit, walking. So, yeah, if anyone wants a water break, that's very good, actually, yeah. If anyone wants a water break, grab some. So, the um, very useful, the so they're very in touch with their um, bodies. They know when they need water. Yeah. I've got a new food. Oh, that is also. If anyone wants a tree gourmet, um, renders the mid lady. Oh yes, well remembered. Thanks for remembering. Um, I'll, I'll, um, that's very good. Right, we'll do silk reading number two next.
three, four, but these tortoises escaped and the train had to stop because someone noticed there was a tortoise on the track and they had to rescue the tortoise. And then the owner came forward and said, oh, I mean, I'm not being funny, but they're not exactly fast, are they? So now we go the other way. But there is a, the tortoise is actually one of the Qigong animals. And, and there's, they've got turtle fins as well. So they're, they're kind of a quite an important animal in China. So. They can shift tortoises. They can shift, can they? They can. One minute they're there and the next minute... Well, that lady them. that used to come to class, she had Bluebell. Her tortoise, Bluebell, that used to eat all the lettuces. And she was moaning about how, how much it's costing her a week now because lettuces have gone up. And then she keeps escaping. So. <laughs> Fantastic. That's that's much better. And then it's a little finger and uh, mouth. Yeah. Hurt. Right, but they, they don't have actual teeth, do they? No, but they've got razor sharp gums. They've got razor sharp gums. That's worth don't put your finger in a tortoise's mouth. That's that's important. Okay, so demonstration. One, two, feel it open, close, bring them together. And with this one, you want to watch the alignment of the knee, so it's quite tempting for the knee to collapse in. So what you do is you rotate in that hip joint, you've got your ball and socket joint, so you've always got knees, toes. Knees are always in line with the toes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, like this. So it's like you're stretching something between your hands, like a, a big elastic band. Then you hold the ball, you sit back, you turn. I'll turn round and do it facing the same way as everyone else. It's just if I do it like this first, you can see what the hands are actually doing. I mean, you might not be able to join in, but that's okay. You can still see them. I'll just demonstrate it two more times facing, and then we'll join in properly. But, you know, if you want to have a little go before we join in officially, that's fine too. Did we put the kettle in? No. Probably we all want to go home now, but that's okay. So we'll start like this. Hold the ball. <coughs> turn the weight to the right side. Palm up, palm down. Now keep the weight in the right foot. Open. Close. Sit back. Sit forward. Transfer. Transfer. Hold the ball. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got to, I've got to water the plants in next week because they're away. So I might very foolishly offer them to be the plant waterer in chief. Um, but I also need to record Friday morning's Tai Chi class, so I shall do that in the garden. <laughs> okay, that's easy, isn't it? See, it's very simple. And then we just uh, so just do. If you can't quite do what I'm doing, just do something, and and that will be perfect. Just just do something and move and feel relaxed and connected. I'll be completely full and I'll think you're doing exactly what I'm doing, even though you know you're not. And it's all good. And we just, oh, there we are. Ooh, lovely. 
marvellous, isn't it? Great. Very good on Zoom, marvellous, right? You get the you get the gold star. Right, it's just got a thumbs up. That's a, right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go for a W-A-L-K. Um, I'll just put the other video on. I'll put the other video. Now how can I work? I bought a new video thing. Oh, that's too, oh dear, that's not right. That should be able to come up a bit. No, that's never lost my... They're pretty much identical, so uh, <coughs> let's try that again for fun. My fun. So we, we once did this for an hour and a quarter at the seminar. So when you step forward, remember when we did right at the beginning, we did this, and you can, you can start it from there, or you can start it from there, and you've got nice. Nice wide steps, so you're not you're not having to worry about balancing because you're stable. <sighs> We're breathing with nice and cool. So white apron fruit, so step your toe. Transfer the weight, part the line what is left. So front hand, front leg, front hand. That's it. Now Keep your weight in the front foot and just open so you feel a stretch across here. Just feel that stretch. Then release the stretch. Then you sink back. And then you sink forwards. You sink back. 
Give your hands something to do. See how you get on. Or, you know. So it goes, and then what we do when we're if we're sitting down, you put the whole foot down. Whole foot. Whole foot. If you're standing up, you're more on the ball of the foot, and the heels are lightly touching or or slightly off off the, the floor. So we go forward. Just because it really messes with your brain, and that's a good thing to do because it, it, we're working on balance. I miss my hands. I forgot. Yeah. Or well, you can forget your hands completely and just focus on the feet. That's fine. That's fine. Because that, the hands is just a, a way of messing with this. Exactly. It, it just to mess everything up. So now try the other leg and the other hand option. So that was option one. Now try option two. It's like on the phone. Put option one. I actually want to speak to a person, you know. Here we go, ready? <laughs> go. Oh, oh gosh, this is a nightmare. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? Really gets you. Well, you can do that. You can do that if you want. Yeah, you can do that if you want. Just, just try things out and really. But the, the important now the way Eli does it, the way Eli does it is he'll start very slow, and he just has his arms relaxed actually, and then he goes. He goes, it goes really really fast, so it becomes a blur. So, and it, whew, it gets your heart going. But you want to just go. You can even do little punches if you want, that helps. 
But the important thing is, is you look forward. So when you do the backwards one, backwards, 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 just because it, it just feels great. And then you, but the footwork, we'll just do the footwork. Side, together, together. Side, together, together. It's a bit like being in line dancing class, but violent. Together, together, side, together. So we had some swifts outside and they're sort of thinking of swooping up and swooping down. <coughs> this is another one I'm really glad.
pomoc vám. so good you can go in the direction of the command this is much better really even, even if you're not quite doing what I'm doing you're a lot more connected there's a lot more connection going through your body and it's a lot more relaxed so that's good so you want to keep the hands on the same sort of middle shelf or top shelf middle shelf top shelf they are middle shelf so they're both the same Yeah. Okay. Relax your shoulders more. Oh, that's it. Feel the feet. So you want to feel it through the feet. So this will this will really give your legs a good old workout. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Just, oh. Whew. Wow. That was that was epic. Let's finish off with um, Grandmaster Chen's preparation or relaxation uh, one. So what I'll do is I'll take my specs off and put them in the pocket because. What you do when you're doing this one, I can't remember if he did this one or not, Rosemary, obviously, but um, uh, he, he just does a very light touch down the, the it's, it's you're doing like the micro, almost like doing part of the microcosmic orbit, so you're going down the central, central channel, very, very lightly with the fingers, and then when you do it the second time, it goes around, back of the head, Gently strokes the neck and then down the central channel again. So, uh, yeah. So just start breathing in and out. Oh. And he really takes his time in this one as well, but we, we haven't quite got the amount of time that we do normally, so just breathe in. something like this. Really good. Breathe in. We'll just do it again. Breathe in. Embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain.
hands together and polish the face. So just very gentle circles, stretching like you're smoothing out the face, smoothing out the face. Let, uh, and we just brush down the arm, so just brush down the front of the body. Rub the hands together again, get the lower, get the lower. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, fabulous. Really good. Oh, and then we'll do a bit more. So again, the brushing thing, as well as being very good for the skin and the circulation, also, again, we'll work the balance because you're doing the body awareness. It's good for your kinesthetic awareness. Breathe in, breathe out. Just feel the whole body is connected. Good connection to the ground. One more time. Nice and tall. Just stand for a moment. Really own your space. And make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, bring the feet together and back. Well done, everyone. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Curtis. Very nice. So, very good costume. Yes. So, we've got a hello. Hello.